leader of the Autobots. Autobots, roll out. That's right, guys. Let's roll out. The Ripper here, team, and just doing a little showcase of the, the Alaska builds on the screen. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to to take a look at it. I did a uh, basic concealment build that I could for this ship and uh, not the anti-concealment build because I like to stay hidden as best I can. Hey, again, if you guys like to support the channel, you like what we're doing here, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and uh, let Ring the bell if you'd like to be notified of upcoming videos. So let's get started. So the, my uh, plan here, um, K9, was uh, playing a battle where we were like, wow, they don't have any DDs at all. And we were surprised. And they had all uh, radar, almost all radar cruisers, I believe. A lot of Rigas, Alaska there. And uh, it was, well, what we were going to do. Well, the plan was to split up and uh, have um, basically a a strategy to set up a crossfire. Now, if you don't know what a crossfire is, uh, essentially you get one DD to spot and uh, then one uh, ship to tank, while one uh, another ship will go way out into the west or east and flank. And that is where they're gonna basically be taking all the shots. And I think that was my role here today in the Alaska. So as you can see right here, we already have a broadside. Now, as ships are crossing to get to these points, they're broadside, so take advantage the best you can. And I pretty much uh, line up about 14 on my tick bar there. I use that as a rough spot, and I fire. And I think he started turning away, and hey, 5,000-something damage there is not bad. Now, they're starting to build up at A, and I think our team was thinking, I think they're going to do a main push at A. So my goal was to basically stay hidden uh, and try to push all the way I can to the west. Um, our Kitakaze there was uh, trying to cap best he can and stay hidden, and he literally was going to just be there, try to spot if he can, torp if he can, but it was pretty much up to me on the west side, and then my other team was going to hold B and then see what would, would develop. Uh, so the Alaska, I don't think the Alaska is available anymore. I know it was one of the, the ships that was removed from uh, the store. Uh, it was available for, I believe, free XP at one point. Uh, or straight up cash. Uh, I, I just selected to do the cash uh, idea. Um, it was just easy. I just wanted it. So I uh, support the game best I can. Uh, I see another Alaska right here and take a shot at him. Uh, so yeah, the Alaska is really great because it's a little tanky. It's, it's Citadel is kind of low on the water. So it's, it's a good tanking ship if you can. It can't take too much damage, but it's good enough. Uh, and it's got a really good like uh, AP uh, shell arcs, um, which I think they call the you know high arc uh, AP shells, which really do a lot of that American AP um, damage because it's coming in from an angle and it's penetrating a lot of the armor. And another Alaska hair shown broadside, and I really like it because it's got radar and hydro. It's got all the things that you could basically ask for. I built this Alaska, the, the captain built with Halsey to have fast turning guns as well as good AA. So I know this is susceptible with AA being nerfed so bad that you just got to build an AA cruiser these days um, because of fear of having, you know, something like a, an FDR or um, even a Midway or, you know, even a, a Mino or um, a Richtofen, sorry, uh, come attack you. So you got to have build it for, you know, AA the best you can, but it's a really great ship, long lasting radar. I built the ship to have radar to last about 40 something seconds, which is more than enough. Uh, and you can see I'm just diving behind the islands here, just try, trying to stay hidden as best I can. So my goal right now is just to push uh, west. Now, the, the cool thing about Alaska, it's a good uh, nose-in uh, ship for me. Um, I, I like doing it, but you can't do it too long against HE spamming ships. But if you find an island, you nose in, you can just work the throttle, going back and forth, you can maintain good position. So now, as you can see, based on the little mini-map right there on the bottom right, you can see I'm in a prime position to flank a majority of these ships, I believe they're on the radar spotting right now. We only have, we've got about four there. So my goal is to hug the islands, flank, go down this way, and try to expose as many citadels as I can, while also helping with radar. You know, radar is a great uh, tool to spot ships behind islands and help your team, especially since it lasts about 40 something seconds. That's a long time for a ship to be spotted and you can start raining, you know, fire on somebody. So you got this Riga here, and I, I, we've seen a lot of Rigas lately. I mean, that's a strong Soviet ship, Soviet bias, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I launched a couple shells at it, a couple penetrations, a little damage there, but that's not my goal here. My goal is to see if I can take care of this Palmer and the Riga, as well as maybe find that other Alaska and Ibuki. So take a real quick shot between the islands there. That's a real squeezy in right there yeah we get about three and nine thousand damage so take every advantage you can i just look for that mountain marker to disappear and usually it's just the center of the ship that is when that mountain marker appears but your guns are forward of the middle section of your ship so i kind of think like well as long as i can angle it in uh, i can squeeze in a shot between those two the, the gap between the island and you see you can still knock and take some damage 
So the Alaska is holding right there. I'm thinking, well, well, we can't really hit him very well. We'll just take a quick shot at him. You know, that mountain symbol pops up. You see, it's probably gonna hit the mountain. But I'm more concerned with this Palmer over here. So what are we gonna do? Uh, again, good thing about the uh, Alaska, I almost compare it to slightly of other cruisers where they can bow in and work the throttle uh, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, to just be a threat to their western flank while they're preoccupied with our Kitakazi, their, I don't know, Iowa. They're so preoccupied with them that I'm able to start working the radar right here. See, I can spot everybody, figure out where they're at, and then I'm going to start making a determination as to where should I go. Now, I'm really used to doing this where I stick my nose out, keep the middle of my ship behind an island so I can stay hidden as long as I can, but sticking my nose out and, and stick out my front two guns, which is six guns, that can really start uh, raining some shells. So right here, I got a good settle shot, put the 14 on the middle, the Ibuki. Let's see what we get. Okay, about 2,800 damage, not what we hope for, but hey, that's, that's a cruiser. You know, this the the AP shells, you know, the uh, on the Alaska are amazing, especially with the dispersion on them. Um, I almost compare them to like the Petro, which is really great. Ooh, we got the Riga here, just, just not even paying attention to his left flank. We fire a couple there and we get some 6,000, maybe 7,000 damage right there. That's really awesome. Now we have a lot of targets in front of us. We have to make a decision. It's like, what do we have to remove off the battlefield as fast as we can to get them uh, off the team so we can have a, a gun advantage? So I elected to start shooting at the Ibuki. Ooh, somebody took a great shot at the Ibuki there. And we're just starting to you know, contribute to the damage to the Ibuki. So we're thinking. They're probably going to start pushing. We can tell you, you got to keep your eye on a swivel here. Looking at the radar, where are their ships going? So I see three ships here about to make a serious push. And then we see a Rigo. He's picking a push, showing a lot of broadside. And look at this. You got to start aiming really fast, start shooting, and we take out a gun on the Rigo. But we got we got to reanalyze it. You take a shot, reanalyze, look around. Don't just get, you know, you know uh, what they call it, uh, pipe focused or uh, tunnel vision, if you will. And you just gotta start working. Okay, I got the nose of the Palmer right there, and it's one of the weakest parts of the ship right there. And 11,000, 3,000 other damage, 14,000 damage there. And we start moving up. Now I'm seeing a lot of the ships are not paying attention to me, so I'm gonna start moving up because this is the prime time to push right here. Because I know those ships are not paying attention to their left flank. Start bringing the hate and start moving up. Oh, Riga, right, or I'm sorry, Ibuki, making a bad decision right here, showing a lot of broadside and deleted off the map. What a great shot right there. Two citadels for the kill. Now, look and zoom in out, reassess what's going on. So we have, again, the Riga uh, moving away with the Alaska. Palmer is really focused on the Kitakaz. I feel like he was so tunnel vision on him that completely uh, unaware that I'm still around while his Hydro is up. Now, somebody took a shot at me. Ar armor on the Alaska is great. Just don't show too much broadside there. But right here, the Palmer is going to show his nose, so I elect to slow down, and I think my friend here eats it. Oh, he beats right there, and he had to take a shot. Oh, man, but right here, I look at his right below the guns. Boom. Erased off the mat. I think that was about 20-something thousand damage right there. Th I believe that's a second kill of the game, and we have another Alaska. Now, Alaska again. Nothing much he can do right here. It's still a great ship, but you can't take on three ships at once right here. So aim is slight in front of him. You get a good hit right there, about 5,000 damage. Um, Alaska is strong, but man, when you're showing that much broadside, ooh. So I look at this angle right here, see if I can shoot between. Hopefully it reloads in time. I look up above it, see where I got to aim, fire. A little bit, a couple damage there, not much. So we elect to push forward because he's reversing right now and really preoccupied with the Neptune and our Alsace. And uh, I like the, the last man. It, it really can just start speeding up uh, pretty well. Uh, I got the propulsion mod on it, so I'm not really worried about steering, but it can steer pretty well. But I really like the speed on this thing. It can you know, start and get going uh, when it needs to. And uh, we're looking at the Alaska here, and oh my goodness, it's broadside. Yeah, th th there's nothing you can do about this one. I aim at the water line, click and fire. And we race for the third kill, another Citadel shot on the Alaska. That's our third kill for the game. And I think this game is pretty much in the back, but why not snag another kill? So we're going to go and find, uh, you know, never give up. Never keep going because you never know when your team might throw the game or something may happen. But I'm not saying my team throws the game. I'm saying this happens in any situation. You just never let up. You know, never let off the gas, gas pedal. Keep on going. So we start heading to sea. We'll take the ship over to sea and try to cap it if we can just in case. And uh, a lot of, again, it's all about positioning. A lot of these ships are showing broadside. So it's really crucial to keep moving. 
uh, and also reassess uh, on your minimap. Hey, what's going on? Where are these ships going? Where's your team at? Uh, where are they calling for help? And uh, again, that, that leads to a victory. Um, easier said than done, but it's something to always keep uh, in the back of your mind. Take a quick shot. I mean, uh, from this distance, I mean, man, look at that. Alaska can really deal some damage at, even at distance. I mean, the dispersion is, is pretty good. Uh, I usually put, uh, with this crosshair scheme, I usually put the 14 on the middle section of the ship, and it usually gives me good um, you know, hits right here. And I put the, I'll move the 14 up a little bit if they start speeding up, and boom, last shell right there gets them for a great shot. So again, if you guys like to support the channel, I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe, and we'll bring you more videos. Uh, we're looking forward to getting more subscribers and to support the channel. So until next time, cheers.